This tutorial will talk about how to use the editor that's included with Elms. So to bring up the editor, you first edit a piece of material, either a page or a folder. Uh, and so let's talk through what these all are. So first we have uh, bulleted lists, so you can insert and remove bulleted lists. Uh, next we have numbered lists, so you can see I can create a numbered list. Uh, I can then indent portions of that numbered list or remove them. Uh, if I want to remove this, I can click the button again, and so if you click the button a second time, it will remove whatever that item is. So you'll see things get highlighted. Uh, so if I start typing these, and then we click this, that will effectively end that. But now if I go back onto it, it highlights it again. And so I can unselect it again. Uh, another feature of the new editor is new editor for the system. Whenever you hit enter, uh, we'll showcase this here. If I click source, I can view the sources and you'll see it's cleanly spaced it out with paragraphs. And so these P tags help with spacing. This influences the style guide and the style guide says how far to space things and then renders that to the screen. This way we can get uh, stylistic concerns addressed across the themes in our portfolio uh, so that we do have some baseline standard for how content is presented, even if the theme and the style of things is, is completely different between them. Um, moving down the editor, we have a link button. So link you can do internal path, which this will uh, allow you to link inside this current course. So if I start to type welcome, you'll see I have welcome because welcome's in the course I'm currently in. So this would provide a link to the welcome page. And if I view source, see what that did. This created it in the, you know, this is a Drupal centric kind of way, but this way it's easier to manage after the fact. Um, Earlier versions of Elms had you know, names in the paths of things that would be like cool stuff slash my thing too. Uh, but that's not, a, you know, that was kind of virtual path. So this is why we're opting more for the Drupal specific way of handling that. Um, you can right click on things to get certain, you know, contextually specific operations. So in this case, it's a link. So I can edit the link by clicking that. Um, the other types, we can do a URL. And so if we would start to type http slash drupal.org, you'll see it's pushed it over so it has a protocol there, and that would create a well-formed link to drupal.org. Um, you can also you know, set this to email or link an anchor text, uh, which we don't have any available in the document, so I can't anchor to anything. Uh, target is not going to be utilized for accessibility purposes. And currently, the advanced things, the only things that stick are name and ID, I believe. What's that? Uh, next, we have images. Now, we want people to manage things through ELI Media, but ELI Media is currently only available to the eLearning Institute. Um, it will be released as a separate distribution at some point. Uh, so we click image, so you get this. Um, I can type a URL to an image. I can put in the alt text so that it is accessible form. Um, or I'll leave it out and we can see what happens. Um, so if I browse server, see it pulls up um, file structure, I can click through, find an image. Um, another neat little thing I can crop on the fly. So I can say, well, I actually just care about that part of the image. And you'll see, it gives me some tools here, you know, whether or not to create a new image or to replace the previous one. So let's crop and create a new image. And then I can insert this file. So we use that in the content, gives it the width and height that it is. Um, Alignment and these properties for accessibility and stylistic purposes are going to be completely overridden. Um, so we'll show how to how you can actually go about getting those to stick. Um, you can provide a link to something automatically in this case. Um, this is just a, a static URL, um, so you don't get the, the same luxury of the autocomplete from the other the other link thing. Um, so hit OK, and now I have my image in there. Um, at the same time, we could add a link to this after the fact. So if I want to do that internal linkage, I can apply it that way as a two-step. And you'll see I get both of these items in my drop-down menu here. Uh, block quote is another one that we get here. Again, the next line. And so block quote just offsets things so that everything will align on the right or the left-hand side here. Uh, view source gone over. You can see what the source looks like. It cleans it up very nicely. And then to scrub stuff, if I select everything, I can scrub formatting, but I haven't applied any formatting yet. So we'll just keep going down the bar in the, the next video here. 